and we get a z then we have from here to seventh t b c then you also have this here so it gives you negative three hundred and that should add up to zero so this this equation here this is really broken into these three equations I mean as so you had a choice you could have written all these three forces together in one long equation then you would have collected all the coefficients with i j and k and then you set all the coefficients to zero so that was the choice but <coughs> you skip all that and as I said there you look at the x component here y co x component here x component here you add all that that becomes force equation you do the same for y and you should do the same for z okay that was as a one equation <coughs> Then we got we need this equation. So <coughs> we already know this. I mean that's basically what you have is M Y A J M C A K. Plus I need the moment of this force about this point. So <coughs> Again, you got choice. You could choose a position vector. You can go from here to here, or you could have gone from here to here. I mean, both will really be the same. So we're looking at R, A, B, or R, A, C. Either one will work for that. So <coughs> uh, the one I chose was the R, A, B. So we, we can write this up as R A B cross product with the force T B C plus <coughs> we need this. This time again we are choose a vector. You go from here, you pick this point. And that's the vector R A E. So <coughs> the second moment here will be R A E cross product with the force vector which is zero. Now this one here that's going to be a determinant. It will be I J and K and we need R A B. A is already zero so R A B will be negative four six and zero then TBC, we know TBC as 3 7 TBC negative 6 7 and 3 7 TBC. So that's one set of equations. The second one, you have I, J and K this is the first row. We need R A E. So let's look at one more set of coordinates, which is E. We're looking at negative 2, 6, and 0. So this is negative 2, 6, and 0. Then the W will be 0, 0, negative 300. <coughs> so those are the determinants. So the equation will be, let's say, M y a plus m c a this times i this times j plus the first which will be i and same <coughs> we need to expand the determinants you're going six times three that's eighteen over seven t b c so plus j. So we go with j. So we go this times and this times. So that will be 12, 12 over 7 TBC plus k. Now we are looking at this times this minus this times this. So that's 24 
over 7 minus 18, so that's 6 over 7 TBC. That's one product. Now this one is <coughs> easy to work with. You go like this. So we have negative 300, and you're going to have 6 I plus 2 J. And that all adds up to 0. So our first equation, that means moment plot x axis to be 0 means 0 plus 18 over 7 TBC minus 1800 that goes to 0. Then you have sum the moments about y to be 0, you get m y a plus 12 seventh TBC and you got this, the negative 600 and that goes to 0. Then sum the moments about c axis to be 0 and that should give us m c a plus 6 seventh TBC x from here and that should go to 0. So we have 6 equations. You have an equation 1, equation 2, equation 3, then equation 4, equation 5, and equation 6. From this equation, you solve for TBC. And that comes out to be 1050 pounds. Then from this equation, you're going to solve for M Y A. That comes out to be negative 600 pound feet. From this equation, you solve for M C A. That comes out to be negative 900 pound feet. You're going to come back to <coughs> this equation. You solve for A X. That comes out to be negative 450 pounds. From the next equation, you're going to solve for A Y. That will be 900 pounds. The last equation is going to give you A Z. And for this particular case, it comes out to be 0. So once you, <coughs> once you set up your equation, the rest of it is fairly straightforward. It's long, but you need to do all the